Indianapolis, Indiana. George Elliott is at the starting line in a race car powered by a jet engine. He throttles up and he's off, rocketing down the asphalt at 260 miles an hour. He pulls the chute, but there's big trouble. George's sons can't believe their eyes. I saw him go halfway down the track and then a big plume of smoke and I heard somebody in the audience say, oh my God, there's been an accident. George hits record speed, but he pulls the chute too soon, launching the jet car skyward. Going 260 miles an hour, it acted like an airplane. It lifted the front end and the body acted like a wing and it took off into the air. The body is sheared off as the vehicle soars 100 feet before violently crashing into the guardrail. George is pinned beneath the mangled wreckage as the jet car screeches to a stop. Emergency personnel rush to the scene and flip the vehicle over. They remove George's helmet and try to pull him from the twisted chassis. Miraculously, he's alive. The hardest part for me in the whole incident was the fact that two of my sons were at the track with me. I was really fearing for what they were thinking. Basically, walking away from it is, is a real miracle. Life is one thing that you just can't take for granted. George is lucky to have survived the devastating accident. But this close call was enough to make him retire from the high-risk sport of jet car racing for good.